Dear Mr. President, This is an official message from the government of Hungary. After seeing this video, you will realize how much alike we are to great, great countries. And we will show you how great we are by demonstrating our great love for democracy. Let's start off with this. We think that economy and Hungarian people should be put before anything else. Not Rome, of course. No, minorities neither. Just like you, Mr. President, we don't listen much to what European Union says. Merkel and the clique like to blame us from time to time of being too autocratic. You know, bashing on us for controlling the media, courts, putting Wooly Party's members in key positions, uh, things like these. The alternative fact is, as you said, Mr. President, we don't frankly have time for political correctness, and this country doesn't have time either. We do democracy our own way, just like you, Mr. President. Selective democracy, as some say. Still democracy, though. Let's introduce you to this great, great guy. You will love our Prime Minister, Mr. Orban. No loser, likes to be winning big time. Let us explain what we mean when we say he is a great, great leader. Smart player. Whenever he needs funding from the European Union, he again becomes a part of the squad. It's sort of a love-hate relationship that you have with Arabs, so you'll understand what we're talking about. Mr. Orban doesn't like refugees just like you, Mr. President. We hate Muslims, and we are not afraid to say it. Long live freedom of speech. We ban most of them of the entry. Mr. Orban went on to even make a wall at the border to prevent them from coming in. Big, big, fantastic wall and barbed wire entanglements. It worked well. Look, Mr. President, we know you stole that idea from us, but we'll give you a heads up as long as you keep in your mind to make us a second country. We hate refugees so much that we even went on to make an international drama out of it. In September 2015, reporters covering the EU refugee and migrant crisis on the Hungarian-Serbian border caught our Hungarian camera woman tripping a refugee with a child in his hands on camera. Well, let's just say that the incident sort of blew up into a major, big, big scaled international scandal in the days following. It put Hungary in focus for its racist and discriminatory policies towards both temporary and permanent acceptance of refugees. Prime Minister went on to say that Hungary will not accept Muslim communities since we are a majority Catholic country. Can people see the democratic spirit in our leader's voice when he embraces so fully his right to freely express his opinion? So we do have Donald Trump as our guest. One of the things I asked him about was about his uh, stance, he says, in favor of traditional marriage. Take a listen. Mr. President, you said that you oppose same-sex marriage because you are a traditional guy. Well, we are extremely traditional too. In 2011, we added to our constitution to specifically define marriage as a union of a man and a woman. Give a traditional no to gay and lesbian marriages. We know it may sound homophobic, but it is not. We just like to keep things straight like you, Mr. President. We like to keep it so straight that we start teaching our kids at the age of 10 that homosexuality is a deadly sin in state-backed religious textbooks. Uh, yeah, we control those too. Strong country, you see. Democratically based strong country, just to remind you once again. Mr. President, we'd like to make one negative observation on your government, if you may allow. Mr. Orban is not a big fan of checks and balances, rule of law, all these things that the USA has been saying are important. He almost completely eliminated them in his first year in the office. He controls the court, pushes whatever he wants through the legislation, appointed his own people in ministries, judicial offices, budgetary councils, you name it, he has his man there. He calls these revolutionary circumstances. People who call his system a tyranny are plain stupid. It is the level of stupidity that is incredible. As you once mentioned, we also used to use the word incompetent, but now we just call him stupid. Mr. President, we sincerely hope you will embrace our love for democracy and all similarities that our countries mutually share. We totally understand it's going to be America first, but can we at least say Hungary third? It's fine, we'll give up the second place for brother Putin, no hard feelings.